Oh. <laughs> So while we're waiting for this to spin, <laughs> we're here at Subaru at the Chicago Auto Show 2024. 2024 and Chicago Auto Show. Yep, that's where yeah. we're at. Cool. <laughs> yeah. And we're in the Subaru um, display. Would you call it an display? Exhibit. Exhibit. I would call it an exhibit. It's, it is it's like a forest It's very over here. kind of interactive. Yeah. Um, they have real plants. Real plants are here. Around here. And the vehicles Turn. are pretty cool. And now we have sound effects yeah, on the forest, effects, <laughs> which is really kind of cool. <laughs> uh, there are puppies over there for mm. adoption. So adorable. And uh, what else? We got cars. We got cars. Yeah, the Subarus, <laughs> the Forester, the Impreza, Outback. You're all the ones that ex have existed for <laughs> centuries. <laughs> Century? Yes. <laughs> I don't think super. Not for years so. though. For years though. They, years, yes. Centuries. Yeah. They don't really uh, no. switch it up that much. No. Over but here. they are a very good quality car. Mm -hmm. Very great safety record and uh, good for families and camping. Camping? Yeah, that's and their biggest thing. Right? It is. Yes, the national parks are their biggest thing, yeah. which is really cool. <laughs> uh, they donate a lot of money to uh, non for profits with the purchase of each vehicle. And this woman just turned on the car. Yes, she did. <laughs> don't know what's going on with that. Don't know. Maybe they're swapping them out. I don't Maybe. know. How? Oh, they yeah. need to move all of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a lot. So oh. it's actually before. <laughs> <laughs> Not <it's> fitting. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually before. Um, the auto show opens for the press, so we are just kind of like hanging out and uh, checking stuff out. Yeah. So we will be back soon from another location, but this is really cool. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I wasn't expecting I that. I was not either. <laughs> wow. Dude, that's really cool, actually. That is really cool, <laughs> and it really looks like it's moving. It's yes. Very <laughs> I keep looking at the ground, and I'm like, oh, Ooh, we're like, on I'm a moving, treadmill. I'm not moving. <laughs> I'm not moving. Wow. That is so cool. <laughs> is that another turn table back there? I don't I know. I think so. That is really cool. <laughs> yeah, because I saw her like walk in there and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now they're closing it. Oh, wow. So they must be going they might to be present switching. it later. Yeah, that's. Or switching. Yeah. We don't know. But how cool is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's my move. Right. All right. <laughs> So we are going to go to another location and we'll be right back. <laughs> So this is a hundred. Hundred four. Yeah. Technically hundred five because of destination fees and whatever. Right. Before tax. And licensing. Yeah. Um. And it's a little confusing reading the fuel mileage situation. Yeah. The fuel. I'm not. Yeah, it says fuel and fuel economy and environment, <laughs> which doesn't really, which pertains to gas cars, right? Not so, electric vehicles. Which I get that they want to try to make it like a crossover so people can understand it, but it's more confusing. It is because it's it also helpful. saying like the your average fuel cost per year. But there's no fuel. Right. It's electricity that you're using. Right. So I don't know if it's talking about that. I don't know if it's talking about because it's like fully electric. Anything. Yeah. It's, it even says on there electric yeah. vehicle. It doesn't say that there's any type of fuel situation other than electric. Yeah. It's like, a little confusing. Yeah. Um, so apparently we might it gets work on that. apparently it gets 53 miles per gallon. E. Whatever that means. So, because there's not actually gallons. Yeah, there's no gallons. There's no. Um, so it's very there's confusing. There's no gas. But it does, however, say 
The range is 314 miles. Yes, the range is 314 miles, which is pretty decent for something, for something this, this massive. Big. Like, because it's huge. It's it's quite huge. I mean, we're short, but that's huge. It's big. It's like huge, huge. Yeah. Like I need a ladder to get into it, huge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. being honest. So it is well designed, though. Yeah. And I believe it's supposed to be like over a thousand horsepower. Oh, actually, because like the to towing capacity is insane. <laughs> well, of course. But, but you only do it for 300 miles. Well, it would be way less, less because than 300. Of the, uh, the weight adds yeah. to how much you are actually expelling in yeah. electricity. Yes. Interesting. So, so, what is this? The HEV here at the auto Hummer show. Hummer EV. And um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So there it is. Weird green. <laughs> 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 Weird green color, but also very pretty on the Hummer. And there Are you have the it. Are those the reverse lights? Why? On the Denali? Yeah, on the bottom. Why are we fucking doing that? I don't know. <laughs> Started off with Kia, now we're here. Come on. <laughs> Rolls Royce Spectre. Ro Rolls Royce Spectre, which is an EV. What? Okay. I didn't think that they would have. I didn't think they would have made one here either. just yet. But with EVs, it's not bad. It's beautiful. I, if I could, if I could, I would. I cannot. Mm -hmm. So I will not. So you don't like this color? But no, I'm not a fan of the color. I love these the rims. These rims are though. very cool. I agree with that. The rims are cool. See, Aston Martin's more about their supercar. It's not an SUV. Right. And I feel that because you're looking so hard to create a market for SUV because everybody wants an SUV, yeah. you're kind of lacking on your other, your other automobiles, which is annoying. Yes. Because you are known for this. Mm-hmm. So why are you doing... Even this one. Yeah. This one's gorgeous. Yes. It's beautiful. This color, I don't even... It's, it kind of reminds me of British Racing Green a little. Yeah. Um, it's not quite as green. It's more tealy, but it's it's in that family. Mm -hmm. And I really, really and like the it. the tan interior as yes, well. Yes, of course. It looks that's, amazing. That's the only way that you would get something in British Racing Green is to have tan interior. There's no other color. No other color yeah. goes with that. Top speed is 202 miles. Oh, you know. While you're just hanging out. <laughs> now this baby. Wow. Okay. Okay, Maserati. <laughs> All right, Maserati. Lotus. I love this color. That's, and it's a McLaren. And it's a McLaren. And I really dig McLaren. You're, if you're trying to go fast, get a McLaren. Um, four hundred forty-four thousand dollars. You know, to get this beautiful purple pocket change, pocket change. But look at it, like, like I, I keep saying, if it matches my hair color, it's coming home with me. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All I am saying. Can I answer a question for you? Any questions? No. We're it's just, just beautiful. <laughs> That's a talker. Yeah. We were talking about it yesterday, actually, which is kind of random that it's here. <laughs> yeah, it's one, one of, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of funny. It's probably, people always ask how much things cost. It's probably the most expensive car in the entire show. Probably. I wouldn't doubt it, because yeah. there's not that many of them. <laughs> like, they is weren't it, that many in production. They <laughs> sold one, yeah, I was in Kissimmee, Florida, about a month ago. One came up for sale, and it sold for one point seven million dollars. Wow! Wow! Plus fees, so it was like you know one point eight seven. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. This car Look at those tail lights. I know. Look at the the exhaust. Yeah. The whole thing is wow. It's a shame that it's that they only lasted for like a couple of years. Yeah. But I mean, that's the same thing that happened with the DeLorean, though. But the they DeLorean were, was thinking about making yeah, one. Yeah, and I think that would be the perfect electric car for GM. 
because GM's thinking about it. All right, so yet another vehicle that is the same color as my hair needs to come home with me. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Well, we've got Subaru. Yeah, Subaru is cool. Volkswagen, Volkswagen Nissan. Nissan. Only one Nissan, honestly. All, well, yeah. Um, and then Lucid. And Lucid. So, That's it. it's worth it to come for those. Yeah. That's what I'm going to say. I mean, I mean, honestly, if you like Ford, cool. <laughs> Drive around or get driven around in a Bronco. Or Lightning. That's it. Okay. You know. Yeah. I mean, the drive track with the, the EVs was cool. Mm -hmm. But knowing how I like to actually drive. Yeah. I mean, it was cool, though. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But... I guess you just have to go to Oak Brook and test drive one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they'll be like, you're not in the stacks bracket. <laughs> I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, we're, we're gonna need to see some uh, check stuff before you can even test drive. <laughs> I mean. We're gonna have to run your credit before you test drive the car. <laughs> not while you're test driving. Right. After you can test drive. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, so that's it. Yeah, we're done. That's all. See you later. See you later. <laughs>